What happens when AI meets CGI? We're building surreal worlds, flying whales, and branded animations, all with the power of text prompts. In this episode, we're creating stunning CGI visuals using AI, from images to videos, all powered by tools like Midjourney, ChatGPT, and Kling. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss more content like this. All right, the first thing we're going to do is select a custom GPT that's specifically tailored for working with Midjourney. We'll start by typing in a prompt, asking it to generate image prompts for Midjourney. The goal here is to create visuals that combine massive, surreal objects with real-world landscapes, whether urban cityscapes, natural environments, or familiar settings from everyday life. Now, if you've got your own idea or a theme you want to explore, feel free to ask ChatGPT to create prompts based on your unique concept. For this episode, though, I want to showcase a range of different styles and options, just to highlight how versatile this method can be. One key trick is to include the word CGI in your prompt. This helps steer the AI toward generating that magical blend of realism and visual fantasy. It's like fusing the real world with cinematic style effects. And there we go. We've received a handful of prompt suggestions. Now it's time to start generating some images. If you're not quite satisfied with the first round of ideas, don't hesitate to tweak your request and try again. Let's jump into image generation using Midjourney. I'm selecting version 7 of the model using raw mode and I'll set the stylization level to around 200 for more defined artistic results. As you can see, the first output, a giant duck, actually looks pretty good. I'll go ahead and ask ChatGPT for a few more prompt suggestions. One that stands out is a whale floating above a city skyline. Super surreal and very cinematic. Let's generate a few more images. The concept is strong, so I'm expecting some cool results here. These came out with a really atmospheric, almost dreamlike vibe. I like it. I'll grab a few more prompts from the list and keep generating in this same style. Personally, I'm using a 916 aspect ratio because I'm targeting short form content like Reels or TikToks, but feel free to experiment with whatever format suits your project. Now let's try something different, using a real photo of a city as a reference. I want to see how this approach works when blending prompts with actual locations. For this example, I'll grab an image of Dubai. It's got those iconic skyscrapers and futuristic vibes. Let's place a beautiful little coffee cup on top of one of those skyscrapers just for fun. I'm also going to increase the stylization and weirdness settings slightly to push things further into surreal territory. And as you can see, the results are really interesting. The clips have a strong aesthetic and a great atmosphere. Before we move on, let's upscale everything we've generated so far. That way we have higher quality assets for post-production or any future edits. Next up, let's try generating a CGI style image directly using ChatGPT's image generation feature. We'll start by uploading a photo where we want to add some 3D elements. Let's ask ChatGPT to add a massive teddy bear hovering over a body of water. The initial result is solid. It fits the vibe we're going for. I'll try refining the prompt to improve how the teddy bear integrates with the background. Ah, there we go. Much better. Now it looks elegant and cohesive with the scene. Alright, now we're going to create a CGI style image using Google Imagen 3. Again, I'll use a custom GPT built to generate prompts specifically optimized for Imagen 3, just like we did with Midjourney. The goal is to get a list of prompts that blend surreal CGI elements with hyper-realistic environments. Once we've got our list, we can bring everything into FreePick, which gives us access to the Imagen model. Now we start generating using the different prompts. The results vary quite a bit. Some are genuinely impressive, while others feel a bit average. Midjourney still feels like the king when it comes to style and execution. Imagen shows promise, but it's a bit more hit or miss at this stage. Let's talk about something important. What if you want to include your company's logo or some other branding element in your CGI? You can definitely do that using tools like Photoshop, Illustrator, or even Blender, but let's try doing it with AI to speed things up. In this case, we'll use ChatGPT again, since it's been surprisingly accurate when it comes to creative image tasks. We'll start with the coffee cup image from earlier. Now I'll find a sample logo that we want to overlay onto the foam of the coffee. We upload both images into the chat and ask GPT to blend the logo into the image. A quick moment later, we've got our result, and it looks great. The logo is seamlessly integrated, and the image quality hasn't dropped. Next up, we're diving into animated content. Let's make a dynamic CGI style video. I'll take a photo of the Eiffel Tower and add a bunch of colorful balloons floating around it. Using a custom GPT, we'll generate the right prompt, paste it into FreePick, 
and choose culling as the model. I'll set the animation length to 10 seconds, perfect for social media content like reels or shorts. After waiting around 15 minutes for the render, we've got our result. It's lively, smooth, and visually interesting. Kling really shines when you want quick, dynamic results for stylized video content. Now let's repeat a similar process, this time with Google VO. VO is better suited for realistic styles, perfect since we're sticking with that vibe. We drop the prompt into FreePick, select the Google VO model, and hit Generate. The result is decent, but I noticed some issues with motion, especially cars acting weird. Kling still seems to have the upper hand when it comes to motion accuracy and dynamic scene. Time for a classic Runway Gen 4. We'll use GPT to craft a prompt tailored for Runway, then drop it into the interface. Make sure to select Gen 4. It consistently delivers some of the best, most stable results out there. Once the video renders, we get a predictable polished clip. That's exactly why I use Gen 4. It's reliable and safe for consistent content production. And with an unlimited plan, you can generate as much as you want without stressing over limits. Now let's take everything a step further. To add realism and polish to our videos, I'm going to process the clips using Topaz Video AI. I'll set the frame rate to 60 FPS for that smooth, lifelike motion that feels like it was filmed on a modern smartphone. I've actually made uh, uh, a separate video dedicated entirely to Topaz Labs, so be sure to check that out if you want a deep dive. Finally, we're going to do a bit of post-production in After Effects. I'll add a few subtle effects, things like camera wiggle, color grading, and a bit of film grain to give it that cinematic feel. This final touch really helps bring the visuals to life and adds that human element to your AI-generated content. So take a moment to review your footage and consider what kind of mood or emotion you want to convey. Those little tweaks make a big difference.